art friends, in this video I'm going to be talking about the artist Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright was a very famous American architect. He designed over 1,000 structures in his lifetime, including the famous Falling Water home in Pennsylvania, the Roby House in Chicago, Illinois, and the Guggenheim Art Museum in New York City. Not only did he design buildings, but he also designed the furniture and the stained glass pieces that were used throughout his buildings. Mr. Wright's stained glass windows were seen as a part of his design. He worked with clear glass and then added small touches of color along with geometric lines and patterns. He called his windows light screens. He left areas, as you can see here on my example, of blank clear glass so the light could shine through as well as adding those colors so it projected that beautiful color into the room when the light shined on. So let's get started with our project. For this project you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser if you have one, a ruler, or anything that has a straight edge. You could use a piece of cardboard, you could use another piece of paper, whatever you have. I'm going to be using a marker to make my black lines on my picture, but you could use a normal marker, a crayon, a color pencil, whatever you have. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to draw our window onto our paper. So using your ruler or your straight edge and your pencil, you're going to draw a rectangle somewhere on your paper. Now, I like to make two rectangles on my paper so I can have two different designs for my windows. If you just want one, that's okay. Now, I'm not really measuring super precisely, but you definitely could if you would like. And my lines are not perfectly straight, but that's okay. Now, once I have my two boxes drawn, I'm going to go over my pencil line with my marker, with my crayon, my color pencil, whatever I have, just so I can see them a little bit better. Once that's done, I'm ready to start designing my windows. Now, you can do this with your marker or your crayon, or you can use pencil. I like to use my ruler to just make some lines on my paper. And there's no right or wrong answer to this. You can have as many or as few lines as you'd like. You can even add some circles into your design. What I like about this project is everyone is going to have something different. And that makes it really unique. I'm gonna to start to go over my lines and then we'll get ready to color. Now to color your picture, use whatever you got. Paint looks great, crayons, markers, colored pencils. I'm gonna be using colored pencils for mine. Now when you're coloring, you just want to remember to leave a few blank white spaces somewhere on your paper. Because that's what Frank Lloyd Wright used to do in his windows, to make sure that light could shine through without any obstruction. He used small touches of color in his designs to not take away from the natural beauty that was outside that window. You could color in a pattern if you'd like. You could color with just one color. You could color with a monochromatic color scheme, complementary colors, whatever you'd like to make your window special. So here are my designs. I left some blank white spaces, right, to have that light help shine through. You could hang your designs in a window and see what happens. I hope you had fun making this project inspired by the American artist and architect, Frank Lloyd Wright, and I cannot wait to see what you create. 